Cancer researchers at Florida International University say they have developed a groundbreaking treatment that shows promise for hard-to-treat cancers. It's first success seen in clinical trials with pediatric patients who've relapsed. 83% of the children reportedly showing improvement, and that includes Logan Jenner, who has been battling cancer since he was three years old. Here's ABC's Victor Okendo. How would you describe your son, Logan? I would describe Logan as a miracle. At just three years old, Logan Jenner was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, an aggressive cancer of the blood and bone marrow. Logan went through four rounds of chemotherapy, followed by a bone marrow transplant before going into remission. For the first year, he was doing really well. And then unfortunately, in February of the next year, we found out that he had relapsed. According to the American Cancer Society, cancer is the second leading cause of death in children under 15. Were you afraid that cancer was going to take his life this time around? Yes, I was. It really shook my faith a lot. No. Logan's oncologist told the Jenners about a clinical trial at Florida International University. We are the first to guide individualized treatments in children that have hard to treat cancers. Functional drug testing in simple terms is testing of hundreds of FDA approved drugs directly on the patient's own living cancer cells in the lab and identifying which drugs work and which don't for each individual patient. So you're finding exactly which drugs work on which specific patient. Exactly. And we are showing that we can identify treatments or which combinations of drugs work and which don't and give results back to the doctors within a week. Turning around results to doctors quickly is very important and critical when we're dealing with children with cancers that have very progressive diseases or cancers that get worse day by day. Let me just put my gloves on. Dr. Razam and her team of researchers look at cancer cells for a number of patients to guide treatment as a part of the trial. Logan was simply known as patient 13. So what did you discover worked in patient number 13's cancer sample? One important one that we found was that two drug combinations were as effective as three drugs. And so his doctor could eliminate one of these drugs from his treatment. The other important result from the testing was we identified which drug that is targeted to his mutation. And the third interesting observation that was important information for his treatment was that his cancer cells in the lab doubled with steroids. Logan's oncologist, Dr. Fader, applied Dr. Razam's analysis of which FDA-approved drug regimen would best target Logan's cancer cells to create a personalized treatment for him, and he went into remission. How much faster did this treatment work? Instead of four cycles, he needed two, which is good, especially considering it was a relapse case. I think it was about 35 days he goes into remission. And it's not only the fact that he went into remission, right, which is a miracle all on its own. It saved him so much time from being in the hospital. It's, it saved him, you know, just having to take all these other medications that he didn't need. How did Dr. Razam's work help Logan's fight against cancer? Dr. Razam's fight made him thrive when there was no hope, really, when Almost all hope is lost. While this study was just on a small sample of patients and this type of treatment is not yet widely available, Dr. Azam is continuing her research in the hopes to help others. I hope and I believe that using this approach that the day will come where we can transform cancer into a chronic treatable disease, just like diabetes. Two years later, Logan is now eight years old and healthy. I tell her this all the time I share Logan with her. You know, I really do. He's my son and I brought him into this world, but she saved him. Her and Dr. Fader saved him. I kicked cancer's butt. Oh, yes, you did, Logan. He's wow, so I know how brave and important research they are. Yes, giving those children less time on those mm -hmm. drugs and more time to be kids. And a ton of hope there, too. Many thanks to Victor for that report. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.